eventually. Might as well, I'm not gonna eat it. Well, wh where do I go? Back this way. I'm gonna go to sleep after this. I was going to record some gameplay of the new Turnip Boy game, but, um, yeah, no. Chest. Bread. I'm assuming this is the way we go because the other way doesn't take us anywhere besides outside the forest. Whispering waterfalls. Oh god. It's a shame that all these creatures are dead. They are. I've never seen any of these things in Nino Kuni 2. The best one you only voice after the crossing. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Stop talking. Oh my god. It's one thing I don't like about JRPGs. There's a lot of fucking text. Just say there's a lot of monsters, dog. Pressing the wrong button to save. I guess we should fight things because we need to get stronger. Yo, fight me. We can do this. Go. We need to get stronger, so. So we can go back and forth. All spells, battle spells. Okay, just looking. That's cool. Chocolate. Cool. I can't cast it. Come on. Not the spells. Not the spell I wanted. So does fighting as Ollie only level up Ollie? No. That's what I wanted to know. It does. Where's this go? Blue chest, it's on it can't be open, can it? Yeah. Had that same fucking issue. Damn blue chest. Enemy has the upper hand. Go! 
go. Mighty. Okay, I figured that out on my own, buddy. You didn't need to tell me that. All right. Come on. Here Like, these games, uh, that's my big issue with JRPGs. They feel like they need to explain everything, even though a lot of things are kind of really common sense in JRPGs. Like, the stronger you get, you get to learn new stuff. Like, no shit, Sherlock. That's literally every JRPG ever. Grand Quest didn't explain shit to you that I can remember. Oh, it did. And there was that tutorial area of the mountain. Alright, buddy. I'm gonna die. Do I just get white bread at the beginning of every combat? That'd be really nice if that's how it works. I could get an attack in quicker than he could. So I go all the way back to my save point.